Okay, so here's the finished album on the stand. There's a little drawer here with, you know, it's got a, I don't know if you can see that, it's a little raven on a book and a tiny little book inside. Obviously I didn't make that, they were born. <laughs> Okay. Originally, this stand uh, was supposed to have a. Oh, I just broke it. Was supposed to have. <laughs> was supposed to have a suitcase in, which is. Oh, heavy, heavy, heavy. Uh, same as this one, which is the Alice in Wonderland one. Um, I do have the suitcase, and I could use use it in a suitcase, but I thought it looked better stood on its own. Um, so the album just lifts off and leaves the stand and there's a little ink part which I made a, a label for which just says Raven Ink and uh, uh, what are they called? A quill <laughs> in, a, in a pen stand and obviously this lifts out completely so I, if I want to put the uh, if I want to put the suit, the album in the suitcase and the suitcase on the stand, I can do that. So, and this is just constructed out of chipboard. Uh, it's basic construction and quite easy to do. Loads of videos on YouTube to discover how to make boxes and stands and such like, so I won't bother doing anything for that. So that's the stand. This is the album and I will change the video camera view and uh, show you the inside. Okay, so this is the original box that the mini album was going to go in. Uh, it come from the works. They come in some really beautiful patterns. Uh, they do a lovely Alice in Wonderland set now. It comes in a set of three and they're seven pounds and obviously I sprayed this one <coughs> uh, you can get two sets for ten pounds so but I'm not using the box but just to show that the album it does fit in the box and that's what it was originally for so move that to one side okay here's the album the spine that the corset binding here on the spine is an idea from Scrap Queen. I didn't use ribbon on mine, I used a dressing gown cord because I thought it, it just went really nicely with the album. And any details about the album and what's inside are in the description boxes of the tutorial. There is a tutorial for the album, if you can call it that. <laughs> loads and loads of mistakes in it. It was a good giggle making it, but if you, if you want to go check that out, it's on my YouTube channel. So uh, the closure is a chain and I've got an extra bit on the front here so that if I want to expand the album I can attach the lobster clasp to this extra bit of chain hanging on the front. Just got a few little bits and pieces here from my stash, some acrylic flowers and bead caps and the chain is here. Quite a good size links on the chain and I use a lobster clasp on the back as well a small one on the back and a large one on the front um, so that it's easy to remove if I need it to completely if I need to change it or I decide I don't like it and want to use a ribbon or something instead so onto the album and oops okay on the inside cover. I don't often uh, decorate my inside covers but I did this time and there's a sliding buckle here with ribbon. This opens up each side and it has a couple of tags in to this pocket here and they're plain on the back and in the larger pocket there's a large booklet with a small pocket and some tags they're playing on the back again and there's a little tuck spot on this side here 
onto the first page there are four main pages and in between each page there's a large photo mat and they're basically the same <coughs> okay first page there is a magnetic flaps here to hold this in place this is a journal page I printed out from Screech House Studio on Etsy and she's ever so good I have five of her printable journals and they're absolutely gorgeous and a little uh, stamp here which I've embossed heat embossed pocket on this side the booklet and a little tuck spot on each side of the booklet this opens up this way tag each side plain on the back and the whole page opens up and on this side there's two pockets each with a tag a long tag in it plain on the back and a large tag that slips into this pocket here and on this side it's a full length pocket and a booklet this picture has only been stuck down at the bottom so I can slip things behind it and just that inside next page This is actually held on with magnets each side, so it just clips on. And these open up, these flaps, and they're actually pockets, or they're actually tags on a pocket, and there's plenty of room in the pockets here for loads of other bits and pieces, and that's the same both sides, they're both tags that come out. This opens up, left and right, and inside there's a belly band here, and another booklet with a little tuck spot in it and on each side of the flaps here oops light's gone off <laughs> there we go <laughs> there is <clears throat> this is the kind of thing that happens all the time when I was doing the tutorial oh if it went wrong it went wrong if it could go wrong it went wrong uh, there's just a belly band here with an image on top to make it that wider so that holds in quite a nice size tag there and that's on both sides of the flap here okay next page uh, I printed I stamped this image again but I didn't heat emboss it it's just stamped there and this opens up this way and there's a little tuck spot on each side with a tag plain on the back and then the whole page opens up it's plain on this side and on this side there are three pockets there's a plain tag in the top and the bottom pocket plain on this side and in the middle pocket there's another booklet, fussy cut out the raven here. It's plain on the back. Next page. <coughs> Try not to turn off the lamp as I move the book across. Okay, there's a flap here with a tuck spot here. And on this side, this is also a flap. And on this side of the flap, another tuck spot with some little cards plain on the back and on this side there's a pocket with a tag plain on the back and the whole bit here is basically one large belly band and it holds a tag that goes the full length of the pocket that's that page okay trying to get through this as quick as I can right this side now, there's a pocket here with a little booklet in it and the booklet's got a magnet on it so that it's it holds still in the pocket there's a little pocket this side with a tag and a flap 
this opens up there is a oops, tuck spot on this side and this is two pockets and the actual pocket here also flaps open belly band on each side here and a little stopper to stop these from falling out and they're just plain on the back okay next page just held on there with a the ribbon this side here this is actually had on with a magnet <coughs> another stamp that I heat embossed and the reason this is here with the magnet is so if I want to uh, slip a picture in underneath I can without actually permanently covering up this image that's just a little bit extra there this is a horizontal waterfall plenty of space for pictures and journaling and then plain on this bit here a little tuck spot here and then oops nice big pocket here with a couple of photo mats on once again plain on the back and that just all goes together like that okay this page here this is held on with a magnet and these are two independent flaps they flap open Oops, that one's come out. Um, I can have it this way with the flaps on the top or because it's also mag there's magnets underneath here as well on this belly band if I want to have it like that they stay down there as well there's magnets on the belly band so this flap opens up and there's a pocket on this side plenty of room for journaling and spaces for photographs and I say lots and lots of tags in this in this album, which is why it's quite bulky, but like I said, also plenty of room for photographs. On each of these, there's a tiny little booklet with a tuck spot <coughs> just in here. So these open up separately. Tuck spot on the back of each one with just uh, little tags in. The belly band holds in two more mats, plain on the back, and then there's also a large pocket with two tags in, which are also plain on the back. There's that one. Okay. Right, on this side there's a little secret pocket here. It's got nothing in it. If it did, I wouldn't tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> this flap here opens up. And there's a little tuck spot there with a couple of little tags there. This whole page then opens. On this side, there's two pockets with tags in. Here and here, playing on the back. That's just oh, two different tags. I've done it so that I can put these tags into this little space here. It's like a little peephole. Um, yes, yeah, so I can swap the tags over if I want a different image showing through. This flaps open, it's held together with magnets here. Uh, it's plain on this side, so lots of room again for photographs and such like. And then got a little pocket here and a larger pocket on this bit here which is playing on the back oh, give it the right way around and on the back cover <coughs> in a inner cover is exactly the same as the front so this opens up with this sliding buckle and then it opens up and the two pockets on the inside obviously i can change this to if I want a different picture in it, I'll just swap it over. So two tags in there, plain on the back, and once again, a large booklet with. So there we go. That's my Raven mini album, 
all finished and complete. So the tutorial is on my YouTube channel if you want a bit of a giggle. And uh, yes, I'm keeping this one because I really like it. And I, I hope you enjoy the tutorial if you watch it. And I hope you like the album. Bye for now.